Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. We're back. And we recently put up some polls, uh, three of them, I believe, over the last uh, several weeks. This first one, do you think Elon Musk knows about the destroyed civilization on Mars? Uh, with 1,100 votes in, we, we had uh, 90% says yes. And I have to say yes, but who really knows what that guy knows? He's, he's a mystery. The next poll was, do you think the United States government would stoop so low as to orchestrate a false UFO event? If so, how would this be of any benefit? Well, there's a lot of answers <laughs> and a lot of discussion down in here. I think just you just need to go look at it in the community section. But 91% says, yes, they are capable. And that's with 1,100 votes. And I don't think there's any doubt that they're capable. They're capable of a lot worse, I'm afraid. And finally, have you ever witnessed a UFO? And by this, I'm talking about something you consider as likely being of either extraterrestrial origin or of secret government use. And the alarming thing here is 1% of 1,100. Now, if I do my math right, that's 11 people said there's no such thing, idiot. Okay, that's fine. But 76% of you said, yes, you have seen. Only 23% of you have not. Okay, Here's the thing that's interesting about this. There are some very, very good accounts that are written within this post in the community section. And I suggest uh, everyone goes and reads them because there's some well-written stuff here. And I promise you, I will read every one of them. I'm trying to catch up with that each day, but every one of those will be read. There's some very good stuff. And I thank you folks for sharing your stories. So we featured this in a recent short video. This is a gigapan rendered by Keith Laney. It's from Martian Day Soul 1448, and then he labels it dash two dash quadruple X. Man, I've heard of triple X, but you know, seriously, Mr. Laney does a magnificent job. But again, though he renders from the PDS, that's planetary data science, quote, raw data, unquote, that's not the raw data, regardless of what they say. That's a lie. That's right. I said it because it's true. Now, for those new to the channel, welcome. You are in the right place. And I suggest you look through previous videos to see how we've arrived here. As I strongly contend that these master cam images are highly fraudulent. There's not much more than the basic shapes that we can count on. And that in itself is a stretch. There's a reason this looks more like a painting than an actual image. Uh, images like this are treated by software that lessens the impact of any object that is non-fractal, thus converting most visual evidence of artificiality into harmless rocks and boring boulders. But not always completely, as you should be able to make out here a bit of a design or a motif. Keith Laney has the clearest gigapans when he renders using AI or assisted intelligence. Now, some people claim that the AI adds things like faces that shouldn't be there. Well, I spoke to Mr. Laney about this, and he says he places both AI and non-AI imagery up so as to compare. He is careful. Here is NASA's official rendering of the same panoramic. So let's do a comparison. NASA's render on the left, Keith Laney's on the right. But the only difference I see here, anyways, is clarity. So let's talk about this whole face thing. Okay, now I know you see it. Sure, this may be total pareidolia, but regardless, it does at least look like a bearded man. Now, keep in mind, this is NASA's render. Let's bring in Keith Laney's. So, Keith Laney's AI render actually looks, and slap me if I'm wrong, it looks less like a face than NASA's. Well, my point, do not disregard Keith Laney's AI renders because of what someone else who also renders these things says. And by the way, I'd like to know your thoughts on this thing sitting up top. It's just, it concerns me a little bit. Now you'll find a link to all of this in the video description. So follow it, no download required. And remember, it's Laney's renders that provide enough clarity where we can see these areas where the obfuscation process misfired. Now these are not buttes. These are structures under disguise. A type of metallic framework can be seen here. Go in for yourself. Take a look around. Don't trust all of it. Don't trust most of it, but look for mistakes. So yeah, we've all but gotten away from dealing with mast cam imagery because it's just far too tainted. But for those who have yet to see what we're accomplishing through the navigational camera images, 
Look at some of the videos posted recently in December and January. But there's some stuff in the masked cam images from Curiosity. So around 1400 to 1409, that is just so absurd and you need to see it. Now, this is sold 1402, left mast cam, and there were people uh, years ago claiming that this was a living being carrying a weapon. Well, I seriously doubt that, but I've not found a matching left mast cam image, so to view it in 3D, yet. But I will say that whatever this is, it's less than one foot in height, so, you know. Anyway, here's a context view of this area. We'll zip through and stop. There. Well, someone contacted me and suggested this looked like an animal coming up an incline with his snout being here, partially blocked by something closer, and with legs being seen here and here. Now, I don't think that's what it is, but I do believe absolutely that something is being hidden there. But now check this out. Context view is from seven Martian days later. Same general area though. This also looks like an animal, a very similar animal. Walking to the left, his head would be here. Now look, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying that for the most part, these rocks and boulders are nothing but a digital facade, a disguise for something that is so artificial in appearance, it has to be hidden. I'm telling you the truth, as insane as I may sound, it's true. But for some reason, it seems like... They want to make funny shapes out of these things. I think it's to throw us off. Okay, let's just play the game for a minute, okay? Let's say that these are all rocks and boulders. Uh, Mr. Scientist, I have a question. Why is this boulder sitting several inches up off the ground? Yeah, Mr. Scientist, I have a question about this rock. What are just those things underneath it? Those look like legs. What is that? Yo, Mr. Scientist, you need to know what's up with this, man. That show do look like legs. You know, my mama didn't raise no dummy. What is that? And while we at it, what's up with that? I'll be awaiting your response. My question is, why does this appear as concrete or like something we'd have on Earth? Yeah, I got another question. Why does this rock look like it's up off the ground? Oh man, that don't make no damn sense. And like that does, Get that up out of my face. Mr. Scientist. What is that? Hey, all I don't know what's holding this thing up, but I think we got more legs over here. Man, I don't know. But go to the right. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep, uh, right there, man. Somebody done lost their shoe in the mud. I'm just hoping they wasn't still in it. Well, here's their finger. My point is that the average human can look at these mass cam images and easily see that something is off about them. What I don't think people truly understand is just how much is being hidden here. These are practically useless, and this is why we deal mostly with the nav cam imagery as of late. People are spinning their wheels and banging their heads up against the wall with these mass cam images. It is a pareidolia haven, heaven, whatever the word is, and I think NASA probably knows that. We'll be back soon with some good stuff.